Some time ago, I started looking for a dust collection system because I was tired of having to clean my shop vac filter every time I used it. I wanted something that would work with my rigid shop vac, would be easy to set up, economical, and would not take up a lot of space in my garage. After doing my homework, I decided to go with a product called the Dust Topper. In this video, we'll do a quick review and then a simple performance test to let you see how well it works. So, let's get started. So let's take a quick look at the box. You can get this uh, online or at any, any of the big box stores. It does come with a topper and the elbow that you see there in the photo. It sits on top of a five gallon bucket which you provide yourself. And it has two latches, one in the front and one in the back. And it does seat it very tightly on that bucket. So there's very little loss of suction. It does come with the elbow that you see there and 36 inches of tubing that connects directly to your shop vac intake. And then the other outlet on the front is where you connect your intake or pickup hose. So it's a very simple mechanism, easy to set up, easy to store, easy to put away. Now let's take a closer look at the device itself to see how it works. So as you can see it's circular and as the air is drawn in along with the sawdust, it creates the cyclone effect as it's drawn in through that port right there. And then as it comes in, it drops down through that uh, slot that's created all the way around that one side and drops directly into the bucket. And then you can see down inside that little baffle there that keeps um, the sawdust from being drawn directly into the intake to the shop vac itself. Let's take another look at it from this side. There you go. You see that little baffle on the left-hand side? So it creates that Ventura effect or cyclone effect inside that circular lid and does a very good job. Here's a simple test that I did earlier. I'm going to show you another test in just a moment. But that's basically how this works is with a cyclone effect. As I mentioned at the beginning, I was looking for something that was easy to set up. And this is very simple to set up. So there's the hose that comes with a dust topper, connects directly into the intake port of your shop vac. And then there's the uptake hose right there for when you're going to vacuum up uh, your sawdust. So it's a very, very simple setup. Now let's do a quick performance test. I got some sawdust from a friend of mine who's a carpenter and as you notice it's red. That's because it's cedar and smells really good. This is a combination of uh, sawdust from his table saw as well as from his sander. So it has an awful lot of fine powder uh, mixed in with all this sawdust, which is a going to be a very good test to see how well the dust topper captures that before it gets to the filter. And as you can see here, there's little or no loss of suction by plugging all these components together. It does a very, very good job. I'm very pleased with how well this worked. So it's doing quick work of this entire pile. I think this is like three quarters of a five gallon bucket and as you can see I'm picking up that fine dust that I mentioned before. So now let's take a look at the results. Well I've taken everything apart. Let's take a look inside the bucket. Almost everything was collected into that bucket and a little bit remained on the top of the dust topper. And then if we come over here and take a close look at the filter, you can see a little bit of the pink or red captured on the filter, but it's not very much. So I, even if I try to wipe it out, there's maybe a little bit on my fingers. So let's look down inside the shop vac. No hard sawdust down in there, but there's a little bit of powder on the sides. So if I wipe my finger down in there, you can see where I've done it before. What this means is I'm going to be able to use my shop vac for quite some time. And I won't be having to stop and take out the filter and blow it out with my leaf blower or any of that other stuff. So for the 40 to 50 bucks I spent for that dust topper, it's well worth it. I placed a link in the description below as to where you can find the current price for the dust topper. 
If you found this video useful, please press like and share with your friends. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks for watching, and as always, good luck on your projects.